G'day viewers, how you going? Um, this morning we've got a little job to do to the big boat. We're going to take off um, these two winches, which has served us well. They're pretty good, but we've got a better one. I was down in Perth, Perth recently and uh, come across these winches. They're handmade by a really nice bloke in Perth. If you want to know anything more, please contact me and I'll let you know everything about these winches. Right, oh, it's a um, Toyota starter motor. Um, that cog here, it's all one piece, machined, super strong. Done a really good job of getting these uh, covers made up, aluminium. Um, everything's heavy duty Anderson plugs. Uh, not just one handle, but two handles. How good's that? Because uh, everybody leaves them on here and you lose them. <laughs> well, I do anyway. So we're going to attach that to there. And that should bring this big girl up um, beautifully. Well, hopefully, anyway. All right. Well, I'll get it bolted on and uh, we'll see how she goes. Okay, that's all ripped off. Now hopefully um, this is gonna fit on just nicely. We'll see. Righto, of course it wasn't gonna be straightforward. Um, we've had to change a few things around. We have to bring the third wheel uh, over to this side of the boat. Um, and we're not gonna be able to get the bolts in. So I'm gonna get this plate there's the camera, here it is. I'm gonna get that there, and I'm gonna weld it onto the winch. So that sits in there. And then with the heavy duty angle line, I'll be able to put the bolts through there. I'll be able to get the front bolt in, in the winch there. So the hole goes right through there. I'll be able to get that one in. But uh, due to the way that I've designed this, uh, I think this I think this will be better, it'll be a lot stronger too. Because you might have noticed on the other winch that it started lifting up. So I welded that. I welded that on. And uh, that stopped it lifting. So I think that might be the guy. So it's a little bit more mucking around. But uh, nothing we can't handle on a Saturday morning. Cool. All right. We'll get that up now. Well, there you have it. She's on. We have to do a few modifications. Bring that tire out just a slight bit. I thought the tire would have to go over this side, but it seems to fit there all right. Uh, got some buttons up here. You just press the button and the winch comes in. Ah, can't do it one hand. Hold the camera at the same time. Anyway, she's on. Uh, it's a bit late in the day to be, well, late in the tide. So the tide's going out. So we'll go and uh, we'll test it tomorrow. Take it down there and give it a run. Righty old. Oh yeah, the other thing we got done, we got a bit of work done to the, um, the cover. Uh, new straps, new tie down points. Changed out the plastic ones for these steel ones and put these big patches on here so you can really pull this down tight. So uh, they should do the business. What was happening is uh, on the dirt roads, the, um, the rocks were hitting the plastic ones and uh, breaking them off. Uh, and the other thing too is you couldn't pull it too tight, otherwise you'd break the plastic pull down thingy majiggies. But, um, he's reinforced it uh, on the outside and the inside. Put all new elastic all the way around. Um, done a pretty good job actually. Pretty happy with it. Uh, new zippers and everything on it. Um, oh well, we'll take it out bush and uh, see how long it lasts though. <laughs> right up. Bloody beautiful day, check that out out there. Absolutely beautiful. 
uh, long weekend and uh, we're going to test this new winch. None of us have done it before. This is the first time and you're coming along. So make sure we do it right, eh? <laughs> Alright, uh, come up here and I'll show you a bit about it. Um, with the other one, the other winch that I had on here, you could, um, once once I get it up on the, on the lean, so once the trailer's broken, I was able to just lower it down with the controller, but I'm not going to be able to do it with this one, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I'm going to have to lower it down with the with the handle. But, uh, it's the same process. I'll let a little bit of um, cable out, just enough for the trailer to break, and then it should sit up on an angle like that, hopefully, and not do anything it shouldn't do. about 500 I'd say. Now that radio is going off. Right, oh, so just jump in the car, jab the brake. Oh, pull this. Now the trailer can brake. Hopefully all goes well. A bit weird when you've never done it before. So not as much control as the other one, but still not too bad. Oh, that didn't go too bad, eh? 
time will tell. We'll put it right through its paces. Um, like picking it up off the sand, off the dirt. We didn't try that, so we'll do that another time. Uh, any information on these winches? Like I said, they're all handmade. Um, he, he, look, he does a, a pretty bloody good job by the looks of things. Um, I've got to wrap all this. He told me to wrap all this motor and that in Denso tape. So I'll definitely do that. And, uh, and put it through its paces. I'll put a bigger battery in. I've got a second hand one I had laying around. So a bigger battery. Um, I'm going to put some charging to it. Like I've got some charging going, but I'm not happy with that. I'm going to get a, a proper charger that charges that battery while we're driving along. Um, and hopefully that keeps it topped up nicely. And guess who we got back? Come on, have a look. There she is. She's back. She had to go all the way back to the Northern Territory, back to Darwin. And what it was is what they found was a um, a bush in the bottom of the leg down in down in here somewhere. Uh, apparently they'd never seen anything like it, and they've actually sent the bush back to um, uh, Japan. I think these 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 guys are made. I might be wrong. Japan, yeah, made in Japan. Um, to see what they think. Uh, they never heard of it season up like that. The actual uh, bush seized on the shaft, which I uh, never heard of. Uh, got old mate there, 25 so If you want to buy that, he's for sale. Alrighty, um, I'm going to do some editing, get this out to you guys. See what you think. Alright, I'll catch you up. Radio, that's all we got for you today. Uh, if you like that, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, ring the bell, you'll be notified of the next missions. Um, a, a couple of you have been asking me to do um, another uh, trailer servicing, so wheel bearings from scratch, uh, all that sort of stuff, uh, basically looking after your trailer. Uh, if I get enough of you guys, um, I'll, I'll definitely do another one. Uh, more in, oh, what's the word, more, right get right into it so and show you exactly what you need to do replace bearings how to bang the, sh the races out you know the whole lot um and so if you're keen for that please leave me a message and i'll get it happening straight away um righto then that's all i got i'll catch you up on the next one see you